What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing. Class is in session. Today, I want to take a look at some Rough Rider knives in response to an open tag started by Brian's Knives. We like Brian. Brian's from Kentucky. He's good salt of the earth, people. If you're not subscribed to Brian's Knives, I will link him down somewhere down there. Comments, description, somewhere. I'll put his at whatever you guys go subscribe to him good dude we love him go subscribe to brian now i've got a ton of rough rider knives i got me a whole truckload of rough rider knives so i'm not going to show you all my rough rider knives because i've got a lot and it would take way too long and that's just silly that's just silly so i've got seven different rough rider knives each of them they're uh each one <laughs> Each one is a different pattern. Each one has a different handle material. So it's a pretty good sample of my Rough Rider collection. Before we take a look at those, don't forget about the Just the Tip live stream with me and Jake from Uncommon EDC. That is tonight, 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 9 East. It's going to be on my channel. We're going to be talking about knives and knife stuff. So you guys make sure to tune in. Also, 3k subscriber giveaway there's three different giveaways i'm gonna link all three of those down below in the description make sure you enter those giveaways because i love giving stuff away and you guys deserve it so make sure you go and enter those so without further ado let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look all right so i got seven different rough riders different patterns different handle materials so let's take a look at the first up is the rough rider uh work knife got stainless steel bolster with a triple thread We've got blue and black layered canvas micarta covers on this one stainless steel back spring uh brass liners this one is a warncliffe swayback which is one of my favorite patterns in the whole wide world this is a hugely popular knife i wish that they would just release a different version of this exact knife every year i mean just give us different handle materials keep the blade shape and everything exactly the same just give us some different handle materials that would be awesome that is the rough rider work knife next up is probably the best series rough rider has ever done I have really liked every one of these knives until the most recent one, which was the Easy Open. This is the Rough Rider Spades, Black Appaloosa, Smooth Bone, Swell Center Jack, that nice clip point blade. And over here on the other side, we've got that modified coping blade, kind of like you see on the Benchmade 940. So I could have pulled out any of these but because they're all great. I love all of them. But that is the Rough Rider Spades Black Appaloosa Swell Center Jack. Next up, we've got the Pipe Doctor. I am a pipe smoker. And so this is a take on a surgeon's knife or a doctor's knife. One thing I like about this is that it's got a Warncliffe blade on it instead of that typical long spear point. And instead of a spatula, we've got a pipe pick. Smooth amber bone with that pipe shield on it, stainless steel back springs with brass liners and black G10 underliners. Really awesome knife. That is the Rough Rider Pipe Doctor. Next up, we've got the Bolster Lock Half Hawk. So this one has red saw cut bone. We've got that back-to-back -back R diamond shield on here. This one is a locking knife. It does have half stops too. Outstanding, I love a half hawk. I love Hawkbills. I love any of the um, sheep's foot style blades. This is almost a ram's foot, a little more angular than a ram's foot. So that's why they call it a half hawk, but just a gorgeous knife, beautiful bone covers on this one. That is the Bolster Lock Half Hawk. All right, next up, we've got the classic Micarta series. This is the cotton sampler very interesting blade here with a cool history i've been meaning to do a history of the cotton sampler we've got the brushed stainless steel bolster on this the diagonal bolster with the single thread got a really cool shield on this one the only problem with this knife is you can see that the covers on one side are really dark and on the back it's very light i don't mind that so much on bone but with micarta 
with canvas micarta, yeah, that's not so great. This can be fixed, but it does have a layer of wax or something on here. So what I need to do is take some, you know, fine grit sandpaper, get that wax off, and then all you have to do is put a little bit of oil on this micarta and it will darken up and I can get both sides to look the same and then I can just re-wax it. It's easy to do, it doesn't take long at all. I just haven't got around to doing it. So this is the classic micarta series. That is the cotton sampler. All right, next up, one of my favorite series from Rough Rider, the Red Fox. I love it because we've got that layered uh, black and red micarta covers with the red G10 underliners, which really makes it pop. We've got that pinch bolster with a single thread. This is the Hawkbill. I really love a Hawkbill pattern or a half hawk or a sheep's foot or a ram's foot. I really like all of those. And this is an outstanding series. I absolutely love that shield. So this is the Red Fox Hawkbill. And then last up one from the black and blue series. We've got that double bomb shield on there, which is really cool. Blue uh, saw cut bone covers on this one with black G10 underliners. This is the granddaddy Barlow. This is a big mother right here. It's got that long clip point blade on here. This is like an eight and a half inch blade, something like that. Eight and a half inch total, maybe even nine inches. That is awesome. I love that one. That is the Granddaddy Barlow from the Black and Blue series. Let's pull them all out and take a look at what we've got. We've got the Rough Rider Work Knife. We've got the Pipe Doctor, the Rough Rider Spades Black Appaloosa Swell Center Jack. We've got the Bolster Lock Series Half Hawk. We've got the Classic Micarta Series Cotton Sampler. We've got the Red Fox Series Hawkbill. And we've got the Black and Blue Series Granddaddy Barlow. So there you go. There's a sampling of my Rough Rider knives. Let me know what you think about these. Do you have any of these knives? Uh, do you like any of these knives? I love them all. Like I said, I have way too many Rough Riders to show all of them. So here's just a little sample of some different patterns and different cover materials. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to tune in to the Just the Tip live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific. 8 p.m. Central with me and Jake from Uncommon EDC. We're going to be talking about knives and knife stuff, so you guys make sure to tune in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there, and make sure you go give our guy Brian a subscribe. It's free, and it means a lot, so go subscribe to him and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.